Okay. I advise you to drink some Powerade. Okay. This is an example that's very near and dear to my heart. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's because you're an athlete and your son's no, an athlete well, and you're no. telling you. <laughs> well, for another reason, but. Oh, okay. Well, I'll go we ahead. got an inside like, joke going on here. And, and not tell us why. Uh, right. Because, uh, you know, I, I've had a lot of problems with headaches in my life. Okay. Um, and Anna suggested to me that I drink Powerades. So I didn't really want to drink it. it for, well, my, my thoughts were, okay, it has sugar in it. So if I drink it, you know, I usually think anything I drink with sugar is going to make a headache, my headache worse. But I did it and anyway. You're right. I did it anyway. And the electrolytes work like magic. And I've been drinking a ton of Powerade ever since. <laughs> Good job, Anna. Good. <laughs> you can get electrolytes in water. Yeah. All right. So let's say this. I advise you to drink some Powerade. And then just quickly, let's do you should drink some Powerade, right? Yeah, so. All right. Now, remember the verb for advise is aconsejar. Remember that, Anna. You can, you can, I mean, you she's can, gonna, you she's like, gonna you know, kill also. me. Okay. You can use, use recommend also, but just you know, if you want to say it that way, but specifically, I recommend you drink versus I advise you to drink. Um, so uh, let's just, I'm just gonna write that for the Spanish speakers. Okay. Um, I advise you to drink. Versus, I recommend you drink, or you do drink. But you cannot say, I recommend you to drink. Not okay. Okay? All right. Um, all right. And then, what is the difference between that, I recommend, versus just stating, you should... I just want to... Well, David... Deberías um, is like kind of a way of softening it, kind of just, you know, just in case you have someone that might think you're being too hard or right, uh -huh. recommending it, you know. You know okay, great. Deberías tomar un poco, un poco de power aid. It's like me gusta or me gustaría. The some, some power aid, it is kind of optional. Uh, I advise you to drink Powerade. I advise you to drink some Powerade. All right. It's optional it's not, in English? In English, it's optional. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like saying a little. I, I advise you to drink a little Powerade. I advise you or some Powerade. We're kind of giving it a little quantity. Algo de. A little bit of algo de. Yes. Okay, number 17. Te recomiendo que lo ves. Que lo veas. I recommend that he see it. Yes. Who are we recommending it to? Te, right? Te is you, right? So mm -hmm. to you, I'm recommending that you see it. Right? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense, Chet? Okay, great. <clears throat> so I recommend that you see it. But, but that little that that piece there uh, matches this. How would you say I recommend that you see the truth? Oh, this is the same way. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. How, how about I recommend also... it? Okay, just just simply that. Yeah, like say you're having a conversation about a movie, and then you say, "I recommend it." Where does the low go? That okay, so count. that's not that's not to anybody. Like I recommend you see it, as you're just saying in general terms, that's something that I recommend, right? Right. Oh, so okay. the low goes right at the beginning. That's what you're recommending, right? Mm -hmm. Recommend it. <clears throat> Can you also versus, say I recommend that you see 
him? Isn't a low? Could that be him as well? Uh, if it's in there like that, yes. So that's I to me because I I that actually thought that was it. I recommend that you see him. Um, mm -hmm. but you're saying it, it's I recommend that you see it. So how do you know the difference? Is it depend? It must depend on the context of the sentence. Um, um Anna at the bottom here, she she put it. If it's ambiguous, you can put in a clarifier, something to clarify that. Oh, Although L L, L L could be okay. um I think you will know um, just context. The context yeah. Exactly. yeah. Okay, moving on. Number 18. I suggest. How do you say I suggest? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. And that's what one of those ones to like recommend and advise. You normally know, would start with with if you're to a person you're talking to, you know. You start with Tay, yes. And any guesses? Do we need, uh, and I already put put it there. Comence. Comenzar. Comenzar con algo simple. Sencillo. Sencillo. Fácil. So why is it sencillo and not simple? So you can see because Anna wrote sencillo first that that is her, um, uh, what she would write, right? That's the word that she would use. Her instinct is to say sencillo. Yeah, because sencillo is easy. It doesn't mean simple. Simple can be a dress, for example, you know, <laughs> nothing special about the dress. It's just black or white. <laughs> Okay, uh -huh. but sencillo means that it's a task that requires some thinking or some hard work, you know. So in this case, uh, the context, again, you will know you're talking about a task that requires to start from the beginning something they say and then move to the next stage or whatever. Okay, mm -hmm. but simple is just that, like nothing special about something or someone. What about facile? What I've what yeah. about the MPS up uh, for for yeah, you start? Can use, you can yeah, you can say and or in facile for for simple. Can you use either of those? Or oh, in ECR, see. <clears throat> you don't know, use empezar very much, do you? It's hard as I do. I to use begin. more than I use common side. <laughs> but, yeah. But both of them are. Yeah. Super to begin, empezar is begin. And that would work really well here. That would also work here. That you begin with something. Game are they interchangeable? In this case, I would say it is. Because just like in English, you can say you can start with, you can commence, you can begin you can um, initiate. <laughs> you can initiate well, yeah. Well, that's uh, well. <laughs> well, initiate the test with something. Sure. Emphasize and coincide. They are they, those two though are directly interchangeable. Emphasize mm -hmm. and coincide. Mm -hmm. All right, number nineteen. Just <laughs> me. What would you suggest he read? Now remember, it's it's, it's the past, Chet. Okay. It's oh, the, I'm sorry. The, I didn't think the you could the is past. Mm -hmm. So you were very close. You were really close. What did you suggest he should read? Should have read. Or what did you advise him yeah. or her to read? Okay, that's cool. What did you advise him or her to read? 